Steph Curry is the greatest shooter of all time, and I don't even think there's any debate on that. But, you know, some people still think that he's not the best point guard of all time, and Magic Johnson is. Well, today we're going to be giving Steph Curry Magic Johnson's career, putting Steph in the 1980s, 1990s, and seeing how Steph would do in that era, seeing if he could beat or tie Magic Johnson in rings. We will start off in the 1979 NCAA championship between Michigan State University and Indiana State University, which will be the first of many battles between Steph Curry and Larry Bird. And in the end, Steph and MSU came out on top with a 70 71 victory. Steph put up 33 points to win his team the NCAA championship. The Lakers were going to draft Steph in the 1979-1980 season, which was the same season the NBA added the three-point line to the league, which was really convenient for the best shooter of all time. And in Steph's normal career, he had to build the Warriors from the ground up to become successful, but this Lakers team Steph was drafted onto had the best player in the league already on the team in Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Well, at least we thought he was the best player in the league, because Steph Curry just came in his rookie year and won MVP. In Steph's rookie year, he just won MVP putting up almost 30 points per game. Steph and the Lakers would fly through the Western Conference playoffs as nobody would challenge them throughout, but they would match up against a really good Philly team in the finals featuring stars like Moses Malone and Dr. J. And this series would be a battle with the Lakers winning their first two at home, but then Philly striking back winning their next two at home. But after game four, the Sixers did not win another game all series as Steph and the Lakers wrapped up the finals in six games with Kareem winning finals MVP and putting up 33.5 points per game throughout the finals. And while you may think Steph might have an easy run at rings the rest of this video remember that it's only 1980 and in just four short seasons a man by the name of michael jeffrey jordan would be joining the nba the lakers will carry their great season over into the next season getting the one seed in the west once again going 62 and 20 and there really was no competition in the western playoffs as the lakers flew through them making another finals appearance and they would be playing the winner of the game seven between philly and the celtics which came down to the celtics with the ball down one with three seconds left two one Larry Bird with the shot and he's gonna brick it these Sixers are going back to the finals Larry Bird and the Celtics not able to eliminate them once again and with the Sixers beating the Celtics and making the finals once again they didn't really give the Lakers much competition as the Lakers would go on to beat the Sixers four to two winning Steph his second ring and only his second year so he is well on pace to become the GOAT Magic only played 13 seasons in the NBA so Steph would have to be pretty efficient in the finals to tie or beat Magic in rings Magic have five rings in a short career so Steph would have to keep winning especially with Michael Jordan joining the league real soon. This season, the Lakers would dominate once again, and Kareem would take home the MVP award again this season, which would bring us into the playoffs where we would finally see a Celtics Lakers matchup in the finals, where it would take seven games to decide the series, and that's where we would be picking it up. All right, and there's a minute and 18 seconds left. The Celtics with the ball down three, trying to stop the Lakers from three peating, and especially Steph from three peating in his first three seasons in the NBA. That'd be absolutely crazy if they win three rings in a row. Larry Bird with the miss, Curry with the board. And and it's looking more and more like they are going to 3 peat with that stop right there. Nixon to the bucket and he's going to finish a 5-point lead for 50 seconds left. Steph has been absolutely dominating the NBA so far, but Larry's going to hit a really tough shot to make it a 3-point game. They just need one stop right here for the ability to tie it. But yeah, Steph's been absolutely dominating the leagues. He's going to shoot a step back 3. I don't really know what he was shooting right there, but he's going to get bailed out as Nixon gets the board and puts it up. All right, Bird with the ball going to the hole. He's going to miss. Mikhail with the ball. And he's going to finish a three-point game once again. And the Lakers made both free throws, so the Celtics are definitely going to have to shoot a three very soon because they're going to have to be following. But Larry has a step back jump shot. Like I said, I don't know if that's going to do much because it doesn't seem like the Lakers are going to be missing many free throws at all. And they were really just playing the foul game the rest of the game. We see here the Lakers did win. Norm Nixon with 25. Curry with 24 points, 5 boards, 12 assists. Kareem not doing too much. Larry had a 36 point game. Mikel with 33. The rest of the team just didn't do too much. And the Celtics did end up losing by 3 points, making Curry 3 P. And next season, we would get another rematch of Celtics Lakers in the finals. I want to show highlights from the West playoffs, but it really, I mean, the West is just so weak, the Lakers basically just sweep through it every year. But the Lakers finally faced some adversity being down 3-2 to two in the series headed into a game six. Two minutes left in game six right now. The Celtics are up three to two in the series. So Larry and the Celtics are looking to get their first ring of the video and stop the Lakers historic run. Bird with the ball on James Worthy trying to make it a two-point lead and it is a two-point lead now for the Lakers. Curry though with the ball looking to get a shot and he's going to get a wide open lane to the basket making it another four-point lead. Larry has 34 points tonight so he's doing his thing. I don't know how much Steph has or Kareem but Larry might be the leading scorer in this game with 34. A great pass right there. Robert Parrish just did the most on that layup. He did not need to do all that. Steph just missed a layup though. Johnson with the ball pulling up in his face. 
makes and he's gonna knock it down a tie game with 54 seconds left boston's going crazy right now and steph with the ball good pass to worthy should be a bucket yep 115 113 all right bird with the ball shooting the fadeaway right off the inbound he's gonna knock it down this man larry bird does not miss i think when we've been watching the games i don't think we've seen him miss a shot yet tie game 115 115 steph with the ball I mean, I don't know why they're just leaving people wide open. Boston's got absolutely no defense. It's seeming like they're just leaving people wide. Robert Parrish shooting the midi, and he's going to miss with 17 seconds left. It looks like we're going to be going to a game seven. Oh, yeah, Steph's at the line, so we're definitely going to a game seven. Steph with 37 points tonight, so Larry was not the leading scorer. 37 points, 9 assists, about to be 38 as he knocks that down. Yeah, I'll see you guys in game 7. There is 2 minutes left in the game. The Lakers are down 4, so it looks like the Lakers run is going to be coming to the end. They're not going to be able to 4 P, and it looks like Larry Bird is going to be winning his first championship of the video. And in the 83-84 season, the last season before Jordan would come into the NBA, the Celtics would repeat as NBA champions in 6 games versus the Lakers. The 84 draft added competition in both conferences with Hakeem in the West and Michael Jordan joining the East. The Lakers would still have a great season though getting the one seed once again and Steph would take home his second MVP putting up 31.3 points per game and the Lakers would match up against the rookie Hakeem and his Rockets in the second round where the Lakers would win 4-1 and easily get to another finals in the east the Celtics matched up against the Pistons in the Eastern Conference Finals for a battle that went seven games where the Celtics were able to come out on top and the finals was not the series everyone is expecting as it only went five games with the Lakers winning it all once again Curry now have four rings and was getting close to beating Magic Johnson's ring total but Jordan was working hard over the offseason and season to go on a run of his own the bulls will play the two-seeded celtics in the first round and while jordan was averaging 41.2 points per game absolutely going off through the whole series his team was really weak and the celtics didn't have much of a problem beating them as they won the series three to one but the celtics wouldn't be playing the lakers in the finals as they would lose to barkley and the sixers in six games in the eastern conference finals and in the finals it would take seven games to decide this series as we picked up this game seven with a minute left one minute and 30 seconds left down eight points how can the lakers come back from this, this is going to be a really tough comeback kareem though with the sky hook that's a start six point lead now but yeah it's looking like if steph could hit this we got a game i was gonna say steph is gonna have to wait for that fifth ring and the 76ers are going to take home a ring and next season curry had his best season yet putting up 35.4 points per game winning another mvp award but for the first time they would face adversity in the west being down three to one to hakeem and the Rockets. and you would think the lakers would start a comeback but the rockets beat them by 22 points in game five advancing to the finals to lose to the celtics in six games in the 87 88 season the lakers will want to get back to the playoffs and beat the rockets as they have been the only team in the west so far to be able to end the Lakers season early but the Rockets wouldn't make it back to the Western Conference Finals as they lost to the Blazers and Clyde Drexler and the Blazers were a good team but they were not able to beat the Lakers as Steph and the Lakers were headed back to the finals beating the Blazers 4-1 to one. and the Lakers opponent in the finals would be chucking the Sixers once again as the Sixers would beat the Knicks in six games in the Eastern Conference Finals to get to the NBA Finals and we are in game five as the Lakers are going to close out the series and get another ring they're up nine points with seven seconds left so Steph gets another ring and he is going to win the finals MVP he had a 43 point seven rebound nine assist game in the 1988-89 season the bulls and jordan finally started making noise as they went 65 and 17 having the best record in the nba and michael jordan would win the mvp award and we would finally get to see a jordan versus steph matchup in the finals all right two minutes left the bulls are up in the series three to two and they are up four right now in game six trying to close it out and not have to go to la for a game seven jordan with the ball get to the bucket and he's gonna score a six point lead now for the bulls with a minute and four left Jordan going to the basket still up for good pass right there to Horace Grant gonna extend the lead again once again to six seven seconds left pull up jump shot I have no clue who just shot that but the Bulls are gonna get the rebound and it's not looking good for Steph Jordan with the ball trying to get the dagger spin and he's gonna hit the shot eight point lead 50 seconds left that's most likely gonna be the game and the series with Kareem retiring the team was left to Steph and he knew it would be difficult to ask to beat Jordan and the Bulls who just kept getting better Steph and the Lakers went 57 and 25 getting the one seed in the west but in the east Jordan the Bulls got the one seed going 60 and 22. And these teams would match up in the finals again, and the Bulls would lead the series 3 to 2 once again in game 6. Jordan has 28.7 assists, but yeah, he did fall out, so he's done for the game with a minute and 20 left when they need him the most he is not gonna be able to play and the bulls could tie it right here packs in with the fadeaway mid-range he's gonna knock it down tie game with under a minute left curry with the ball trying to force the game seven and pippen with the ball trying to take a two-point lead easy pass packs in with the layup 
and are the Lakers going to choke? Four point or a six point lead. I think they got up to six. Curry, though, with the ball to tie it. Curry does tie it. Bulls are going to hold it for the last shot, though. Six seconds left. They're probably yeah, looking for Pippen down low. Pippen gets the layup. Three seconds left. The Bulls are going to be up two. Lakers have no timeouts either. So Curry's going to throw a full court shot up. And he's going to miss. And just like that, the Bulls win another ring. Steph and the Lakers just choked that game. In the 90-91 season will be Curry's last season for a while. Because Magic's career will be cut short due to health reasons. Which means we would get one more battle between Jordan and Curry in the finals. Taking us to Game 7 in LA to decide the series. Bulls need a basket right here. The lob to Jordan three-point game once again. We see tonight Curry has 32 points and 11 assists. I don't know how much Jordan has. 14, 117 though. Steph with the fadeaway three for the dagger. He's going to miss. That was definitely the put-away shot if he could have hit it, but he's not. Jordan with the ball. He can make it a one-point game right here, and he is going to with a dunk. All right, and the Lakers did make both free throws. Jordan, oh, I thought he was about to shoot the three, but BJ Armstrong wide open for three. He's going to miss. 13 seconds left. Jordan with the ball. Pippen, Armstrong, someone got to shoot the three. I don't know what they're doing. Looks like Jordan's going to shoot a contested three. He's going to miss. And it looks like the Lakers are finally going to be able to beat the Bulls. And Steph is going to be able to take a ring home on his last season as a Laker. Jordan Curry has some good battles in this video. But what would happen if the two were teammates? Click on this video to find out where I gave Michael Jordan Kevin Durant's career. And also don't forget to leave a like on the video and subscribe if you are new to the channel. 